in this video the remaining part of the particular joints in structural members will be continued so we have seen up to the <coughs> particular joints of beams with the intermediate joints and all things let us see from this part so we have seen only the two types of joints beam on the top of column then the further parts so this is the joining of a truss to the column so when and how some of the trusses are also used to join so subsequent reinforcement and concreting is done this is the column and this is the truss part we need to understand which is column and which is truss so this part is the column this is from the top view this part is from the top view this is the column section where it is embedded inside the particular beam type of truss and this is the truss which will be coming and this is the subsequent reinforcement and concreting for the support truss rest on the column by its cantilever like lengthened upper cord so this is the upper cord which will be resting while the lower cord has a subsequent lengthened and joined to the column so here this will be lengthened and then joined to the column this is the upper figure means from the top view we are going to view this is the sectional view which we can easily see for vertical loads the joint should be hinge like for vertical loads so the joint should be hinge like for horizontal <coughs> loads the joint should be rigid so in this context we can say that both the types of joints are mandatory sometimes so we have to allow the rotations also and we should not allow some of the rotations also so this comes for the joining of truss to the column then comes joining of column to a beam at an intermediate level at an intermediate level means in the middle so concrete column is going for the next floor next floor it is going then we need to join it so when we need to join the particular column with the intermediate level we need to understand how it has to be joined so that particular moment will be coming so column passing through the several number of floors here the bottom part will be having some amount of the uh, things which can be a resting uh, level so or we can say the beam level of the columns are casted where in the previous videos i have mentioned some of the casting of calling or preparation of columns there you can able to see these type of figures uh, also i will upload some of the i will prepare a video related to only the figures which are able to see it in the color form so that easily understandingable can be maintained in this particular uh, figures which can be easily understood so here welding can be done or the steel casting can be done so we can say here a steel plate is provided at the bottom of this steel plate is provided then there is a uh, welding joint is provided and then the concrete casting or the mortar casting will be made then this particular intermediate column to beam joint is made as the firm joint or we can say it as a hinge type of joint it is applicable for multi storied buildings there are two methods so in this part there are two methods method 1 beams rest on a cantilever of the column and their top bars are welded to dowels producing from it producing from it method 2 a beam shaped like a inverted u rests on a cantilever producing laterally from the column so as in the previous figure we have seen this part the lateral things is available the producing part is available in the column here the beams are resting so this is method number 2 the advantage is that the concentric load can also be accomplished for the outermost columns which is impossible when using this method so we can see if this is provided so some of the external columns will not have on the both the sides or all on the four the faces four faces so if i uh, make it more clear this way the column is there and we are at the both the ends and we are having both the continued beams are provided so we can provide in this way if a corner plot of the column is there so somewhere here this column is required so this column is required we will be able to see when the section is taken on one side of the clacks is provided means the support is provided on other side we are able to see in this form so when we see it from the top view top view of the column we can easily mention that this way there is a particular 
support as well as this way there is the particular support. So, these are the two parts of the supports which can be easily provided to rest the beams at the intermediate levels. Note if an additional reinforcement is applied, so now this is most important, if an additional reinforcement is applied, the beam can also be transferred to continuous beam. So, the beam if the reinforcement is connected, then we can say the simply supported beam can be made it as a continuous beam. <coughs> simply supported beam will be turning into continuous beam. Now comes the lengthening of columns. So, <coughs> lengthening of columns. Columns are usually lengthened at a floor levels. Intermediate lengthening should be avoided if possible. So, intermediate means in the middle of the two floors, it should not be continued. Only at the floor levels, the columns are lengthened. So, this is beam number 1, beam number 2, then column lengthening. So, tongue like erection will be here, then there will be beam supported. This reinforcement whatever is available, this reinforcement will take again the column on the upper level, where this beam and this beam both will be connected and then the column is also connected, small amount of casting is provided. So, the upper column rest on the lower ones uh, by a tongue like extension, there is a tongue like extension. Bars are, <coughs> the steel bars of main reinforcements are joined by overlapping are looped steel bars. Looped steel bars, these are the looped steel bars are welding. Then the strips are to be, stirrups are to be placed and finally the joints must be concreted. Whatever the jointing we will do in the prefabricated structures are to be concreted. This is the most important part. Joining of beams. So, now comes the joining of beams, how we are making the joining of This is the one part wherein the overlapping is there. So, this is another part where the welding connections are made. So, this part is overlapping means this is and this is one over the another connection will be taken and concrete casting is made. Here resting of the beams are made at the supports and the Reinforcement whichever is running between the two beams that is welded by some amount of welding steel plates between them. The junction of the beam is done by overlapping of protruding steel bars or by welding them together. This is the method of joining the beams. Precast concrete girders. So, this is the girder type and stretching cables. So, column when they are connection. So, this is the precast girder. So, this are used for bridges and heavy structures itself only. Joining of beams, by post tensioning it is ensured that the entire structure including the joint only compressive can be developed. The joints are made by placing plane surfaces side by side and then filling two gaps with cement. By doing so, longer beams can also be produced from shorter precast members. No difficulties in making joints should be there. After casting of the gaps and hardening of mortar, the short inserted cables are stressed and so rigid joints are established into the beam joinings. Joining of precast to monolithic RC structures. So, this is one more method. Achieved by placing and <coughs> of the beam either for two cantilever producing from the column or an opening from in the shaft of the column. So, we can see the precast column is here. So, this precast column and dowel bars in situ girders are provided. When making the joints first of all of 2.5 centimeter deep, cavity is chiseled out at the side of the precast column, at the side of the precast column. The bottom of the cavity should be roughed means it should be rough such that there should be a resting of easily method is there. So, as to attain a better bond between the concrete of the monolithic beam and precast column. Monolithic beam and as well as precast column is to be connected. So, this is about the precast to monolithic RCC structure. So, this is the precast particular column wherein the monolithical 
particular beam or girder can be coming into the connections wherever. So, this amount of casting of column is already prepared. We are just getting the column and placing it at the position which will be making the connection at this particular sections. <coughs> Thank you. See you in the next video with the same uh, related topics and figures which will be making you more clear about the joints in the structural members. Thank you. See you in the next video.